So I am currently on the gray app on my device. And as you can see, if I tap on show, you can see over here that my account number has letters. And this happened after Gray did their updates. You know, a while back, their USD accounts were, I don't know, deactivated because they said they had to do some upgrades. And after the upgrades, all the people that had accounts with them already, they changed their accounts and they added letters to their accounts. Okay, so this has caused some problems for me because I use Gray to receive money from Amazon. And when I tried using this new account number on Amazon, well, it didn't work. So I contacted Gray and I told them that this uh, account number has letters and uh, Amazon doesn't support it. So they said, yeah, this is an actual account number and there's nothing wrong with it. It's just that some platforms do not support it. And I do not know why they decided to go in this direction because I knew a few people that created their accounts after the whole upgrade happened and their account numbers do not have letters like mine does. So... I asked them if they could change it back to how it used to be and they said no. So as I've said, I tried to connect this account number with my Amazon Associates account and it didn't work. So I've also heard that it doesn't work with PayPal. So that means that um, yeah, some of you will not be able to receive money from um, Gray if you're using PayPal. I do not use PayPal because of all their restrictions with Nigerians. So I don't even bother myself. So here are the three solutions that I have for you guys. So the first thing you can do is you can use the other accounts like the British Pounds account. That is what I use with Amazon now until I found my third solution, which I'll be talking about very soon. So this is the first solution, but I do not recommend this one or the second solution that I'll be telling you guys, unless you don't want to create another account for your virtual um, accounts. So for this one, you can see the number is an actual account number without letters. And the only problem that I have with this one is that um, if money is sent to this account, well, if it is in dollars, then it will be converted. Now, I do not know the way they convert the money, so I don't have like 100% certainty that it's the actual amount that I'm getting. So, yeah, if you're not worried about that and you just want to use Gray because you like Gray so much, then sure, you can use the British account for receiving money. It's just going to be converted from dollars to British at the bank rate. So, yeah. The second option is for you to use Pioneer to receive payments. Now you may be thinking that, well, Pioneer doesn't give you that um, black market exchange rate. So you can receive money to your Pioneer account and then when you want to withdraw, do not withdraw it to your Nera account. Instead, withdraw it to your um, DOM account. But then, yeah, that is what you have to do if you're going to be using Pioneer to receive payments. And Pioneer is supported by a lot of platforms. So if you are using platforms that do not support like virtual accounts, then Pioneer is a good one to use. Okay, so the final solution I have is what I'm actually doing right now. I'm using this website called, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Is it GigPay or GigPay or GigPay? If anyone knows the pronunciation, please, maybe just send me a message on Instagram and just send me a voice note of the pronunciation and I'll thank you so much. But then, yeah, you can go and register on this website. As you can see on the screen right now, these are the accounts that I've created. You just need to take a picture of yourself to verify yourself and uh, you send them your NIN number. You don't even have to send the card itself. Just send the number and they'll verify you. It took me around, I think, a day to verify myself with GigPay or Gig. I don't, I, I won't even say it anymore. It took me around a day to verify myself on the platform. You just need to take a selfie and then you impute your NIN number and that is all. I had to wait for a plane to pass. But anyways, they'll tell you when your identity has been verified and then you can start creating your accounts. So you can create an error account. I created an error account, but right now I can't find it. Maybe they are doing something else. I don't know. But then the error account and the US account, you can create them instantly. But for the British and the Euro account, you have to wait for a few days for them to get created. So I have connected the accounts to my Amazon Associates and when I receive money, then I'm going to show you guys how to withdraw using the app or the website. It doesn't have an app yet that I know about anyways. So you guys should go ahead and register on the website if you don't want to use any of the other two solutions that I offered. And hopefully this time, this people will not change the whole system again and make us start hunting for a new account to create. Alright, if you have questions, you can leave them in the comments. And yeah, I'll be seeing you guys in the next video.